Hey guys, it's Chase, and we are back for week four of the Down of Movies podcast. Everyone's pumped. Yeah! Oh, all yeah. right, there you go. There's pump. That's our pump noises. Um, so, anything new to report this week? No. Starla Michael this week? I've been sick. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. The yeah. emphasis of any good relationship, sickness. It was it was perfect timing too for our, our anniversary. anniversary. There we yeah. go. Yeah. See, we want you to we want to bring you guys into our personal lives. Yes. <laughs> no, so, I I apologize if, if I start coughing. So. No, it's he a, doesn't. It's a yeah, sexy it, voice. Yeah. Right. He's just trying to get you all to flirt with him. <laughs> <laughs> In the comment section, talk to me, dude. Chase, you're dirty. Oh no. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, we got a fun one this week. Uh, we've had uh, plenty of time to think about it, but on this uh, episode. We oh there he is. Right. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be talking about uh, our favorite Disney movie, animated oh, and live action. So um, more civil, and it's easier to talk about Disney. Disney's uh, taken over the world, and so we. Have I don't know. I can I can f bomb on some Disney talk. I I mm. hope it. I hope for it. I, I look for the f bombs yes. for Disney. I wasn't before, but I am now. <laughs> yeah, just for the sake of doing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Peter before we. Fucking pan. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! All right, before we get started, anybody have anything they want to say? Wow! <laughs> wow! More crickets. Yeah, chip, 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 chip. I, oh. I like to talk when it's not called for. All right. right. Okay, so I guess we'll start with uh, live action. Yeah. All sure. right. So, Sounds good. Uh, live action Disney movie. As you all know, Disney again is taking over every aspect of the world when it comes to movies, merchandise, posters, all this crap. But the movie I chose for my live action really isn't promoted anywhere. It came out, a, you know, ten years ago or so. And it is uh, Remember the Titans, uh, the Denzel Washington mm-hmm. classic. Mm-hmm. I love that movie. I absolutely love that movie. It's such a good movie. Um, you know, it's where Denzel Washington becomes the head coach uh, for this football team who really is just segregated to all whites. And uh, they don't like black people. They don't like anything like that. They want nothing to do with them. So when you bring in a black coach to try to you know, coach an all-white team, and then they bring in black players as well, then it's it's at a high school, so it's not like it's, you know, professional and they have to deal with it. It's, you know, people yeah. who have to, they have to deal with it. It's yeah. not like they get paid to do it. It's <clears throat> it's for a high school. And just the story is so good, and uh, Denzel Washington, to me, is best movie, because he just acts it out real well. And it has Ryan Gosling in it, uh, for anybody who's a fan yeah. of him, and uh, Donald Faison from Scrubs. Uh, and Hayden Panettiere, and she's like nine, she's like eight or nine in that wow. movie, and she wow. so she's in that. And, um, and I have never seen it. You've never seen Run the Titans. Oh, I just I watched it for the first time a few months you, ago. Yeah, you it watch it with really me. Good. It's awesome. Yeah. It's one of the best uh, live action movies, but it's also one that I don't think anybody knows that it's Disney. Yeah, like, yeah I didn't a lot of people doesn't know it's a Disney movie. Yeah. So it's really good, and I think very, very, very underrated. I think it kind of got swept under the rug. I think if you're a sports fan. Yeah. You know what it is, but I'd heard of it, but I never but now this is for everyone who's a Disney fan, because now you can go watch it and go, oh wow, Disney used to be able to do live action before <laughs> Marvel, yeah. so yeah, now they could actually true. do a good live action movie and didn't need a Marvel logo, uh, logos, <laughs> L- logos, <laughs> studio <laughs> logo, Lugo, yeah. damn logos. <laughs> Since I've been sick, I've coughed, coughed up a few logos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, everyone. I think a lot of the Disney movies that are live action ones you don't realize are Disney because yeah. some of them they just don't promote them a lot. They're or sneaky. You, yeah. You just, yeah. They're sne- yeah, because it's, it's like. It's not like the animated ones. They just have like no hint of Disney in them mm-hmm. and you just don't well, realize it's like, it until uh, you actually I won't, look it up. I won't get, give away what yours is, but it's your choice for live action. It was also one that if you're not, like, if unless you have gone to Disneyland or whatever, <clears> then you would know, like, oh, this is Disney. But yeah. because but, they don't mention a lot of it. Yeah. I, probably wrong but i think um touchstone pictures is owned by disney and they made touchstone so disney can make more you know the pg movies pg-13 movies and not have the disney you know yeah because yeah Yeah. because it's harder to do like disney rated r right like long sexual yeah strong sexual violence and nudity (laughs) mickey mouse just goes awol like you know what i mean like it's tough because this was a very you know big topic in the world and, yeah. and for Disney uh, Disney to do it and do it very well and not cross the and some of the things they do say because I mean it's about segregation it's about the blacks yeah. being not you know not appreciated or wanted and, and it's a very big topic that Disney did very well doing and you know there's lots of humor and they do really good at bringing lots of humor 
and um, lots of serious stuff, and they do, re- I mean, it's just really good. So if you haven't seen Room of the Titans, do go see it, or do go see it. It's in the theaters tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, um, rent it, own it, buy it, whatever. It's a very underrated Disney movie, and it's and it's good for anyone because there's lots of good things in it to enjoy. So, fair enough. I may have to take you. And Starla, if you have, and I, and honestly, that's probably the next movie I want to show you <laughs> because and, and I, I it's really such a have good a movie. difficult time with anything uplifting or. Oh, and football. it's not. <laughs> Educated. Oh no, it's it's uh, it's not an uplifting movie by any means. <laughs> so it's it's it like it's. It's a tearjerker. It's a tearjerker. Because it's not like a... It's not a drama. It's not a comedy. It's just kind of a mix of everything. Yeah. And so it's just... It's all... Like, you think it's going to be like this coming of tale story of, you know, how black people and white people get along. And then it is, but then it's just like so much other things happen. And it's just... It's a lot to go into it. So I'm, I'm excited for you to see it at some point. Cool. Yeah. So uh, that was mine. Um... No, no. Ka- Kablana, <laughs> I'm putting you ready, on the screen. Sp- no. no, you're ready. Oh. You're ready when I not say you're ready. Yet. Yeah, not, not ready, ready yet. yet. Okay. <laughs> so, my, I can't think straight now. <laughs> you put me on the spot. We're all no. staring at you. My, yeah, they are. They yeah. are not. Yeah. No, my um, Disney live action movie, it's not, I wouldn't necessarily call it my favorite, but one of my top ones is going to be The Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and Dead Man's Chest specifically. I'm going to say both of them because those, I think, were the best Pirates of the Caribbean movies of the four of them. Um, they kind of lost track of the story a little bit after that change. Yeah. Like, the yeah. third one was just too long, and it just had a lot of weird stuff mixed into it. You're just like, what's going on here? I'm with you on I that. Think, I'm, I'm trying to behave myself, because <laughs> yeah. he said it is too long, God. and I was like, <laughs> but yesterday he said it was perfect. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, that's it. All right, I needed to get one joke out of the way yeah, today. Yeah, you did good, you did good. <laughs> I was holding it in, and I you were struggling. I uh, well, my face turned okay? red, and yes. And, and Are you okay now? I'm okay. I got it. All right, <laughs> so continue. Well, that, the third one just had a lot of random stuff mixed into it. I think it was just hard to follow the third one a little bit. I fell asleep in the theater. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was I felt really I, bad. I, it didn't yeah, because it, it didn't just, keep my attention. And then yeah. the it had one, the giant sea queen or whatever she was. Yeah. That didn't do anything. Yeah. It was, it she turned really into giant weird. crabs and then disappeared. Yeah. 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 And then the fourth one's just a completely different didn't story. It was a good movie. It, it just yeah. didn't stick with the original yeah, story. The fourth, and I think the, the first and second did a good job of that connecting yeah. with each yeah. other. Yeah, the fourth one was that, the fourth one was good. Like uh, the, it just is that the Blackbeard one. Uh, yeah, one of it, the, it was yeah. the Fountain of Youth. They're looking okay. forward to it. Okay. Yeah. it's a good movie. Like the some people poo poo that one too, but I if you don't look compare it to the other ones, it was okay. It was a yeah. good. You can watch it as and not be bored as a standalone. And but if you're like as a continuation of the series or compared to the first one or compared to the second one. It's not going to be better. I love the first one. I love yeah, the first one. Yeah, it was great. Was really you know, cool. and just, I love all the actors. Jeff, Johnny yeah, Depp, Rush Kira is great. Knightley, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Orlando Jeffrey Bloom, they're all yeah. great. And then even in the second one, like uh, when it ends with Jeffrey Rush coming, you oh, find yeah. out he's alive, you're like, yeah. I cannot wait for the third one. And yeah. then you get the third one and you're like, oh. I can't wait happened? for the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do Let's it again. Let's just do it again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're really good and they're funny movies that I enjoy always that's one that I could watch more than, like over and over because I'm yeah, no, tired the music, of those I don't well, watch and, them enough and it's the, been too long and for the fact like I said like for Di- like for Disneyland purpose like it's a ride you know <coughs> they took a ride and came up with a movie idea and I think after they lost that when they're trying to they you know they had to be creative with that and I think when the third one they're like well now we gotta continue this love story and then we got this battle and then we got new people. I think they got overexcited by how much money they were making. Yeah. And they just wanted to continue it. They wanted to keep that excitement yeah. and just... It just kind of... Nah. Yeah. yeah. But, it happens a lot, yeah. though. But the first two were great, and it, overall, I think it's a successful uh, quadrilogy. Oh, yeah. It yeah. makes yeah. tons of money yeah. on merchandise, on right. Johnny Depp. I mean, that's yeah. what his career yeah. is now. Is, he is, um, almost is that guy. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. is Jack Sparrow. So, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, overall, I think that's uh, um, you know... A good pick. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. Thank you. I had what I was, I had, I had what I was gonna say, and I was like, I, that was great. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You, did you just good. did well. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just uh, right. Yeah. No, you, you, you tried your hardest. You, you did your best, <laughs> right. and uh, all that's all we can ask for. Yeah, you, you get a star on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else you want to add to that? Mm, I'm good. What was I'm your? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't. I'm not through no. with you yet. Oh gosh. We're done. No. Um. What? Is your favorite? What may? What is uh, something about that movie that makes it kind of more your favorite live action? Like, is there something that stands out? Um, 
I, I don't know. I just really like the story, and I think they did really well with the acting and everything. I like the humor in the movies. Yeah. I, I think Johnny Depp is great. <laughs> yeah. As, many yeah. of you, as much as, as many of you hate on him, I love Johnny Depp. I think he does really good in those movies, especially. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. that's one time when his character acting is great. Yeah, I yeah. think because yeah. I think Jack Sparrow yeah. was his last good decision, and then oh, and damn. then then everything after that because yeah, name something okay, after. Pirates of the Caribbean that he did Allison good. Wonder- uh. <laughs> no, 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 not that, that one. Not that he did, but that he did good. Oh, sorry, sorry. Or the movie was good. Okay, not let's say not, not he did good, but the movie did good. Well, I think Alice made a lot of movie movie. No, oh, <laughs> I made a lot of money. I'm sick. Give me a break. <laughs> I made a lot of money, but I didn't care for it. Yeah, but visually it was great. Me and, yeah, me and Caitlin yeah, talked yeah. about it. Was it. Pretty. Visually, yeah. it was really well done. I think. Just turn I think it down. Bringing that, yeah, 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 like bringing the world in. From, I mean, because bringing the cartoon in the book that everyone grew up, yeah, and they did very good bringing that on screen. But I it was a difference. But it was a different. My, my my issue was it was a different story. Yeah. And they, I think they tried too much to make Johnny Depp the main character that I honestly didn't care about the girl who was playing Alice. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you're a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, I can understand that if you know the story really well, which a lot most people do, but. Like if you just take it for what it is, I yeah, think it's okay. If you take, if you take well, it, for I really enjoy that movie, yeah. but I don't sit there and you know think, take it every aspect of how it's different but, from the original. Well, no, I think well, I, I, I think the reason I did that was because the editing team for the trailer made you think that's what it was going to be. Yeah. And then when you sit down and watch the movie, it's like, oh, she's already been, and then now it's she's already met the Mad Hatter and this and that yeah. and this, and they already have inside jokes, but we don't know what they are yet. So it's like yeah. it's you know, so I went in thinking I missed two hours because it was like. All the stuff I didn't know was going on. Like I knew that. Oh, maybe they were treating it like a sequel to the animated. To the animated, yeah. maybe, and that and and that would be brilliant if they promoted it that way. I think I think it'd been like oh, but it's, yeah. I don't know if it's if it would be possible. Like you know, it's a number two of an animated, but now it's live action. Like I don't. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna have yeah. to revisit that one because I don't remember. Yeah, and we need we need that to because specifically I, like yeah. the inside jokes that you're talking about and everything. Well, like I his don't... little head spin and uh, or something else that. They talk about like remember his little wagon? yeah his like dance. like that they all they all talk about the entire movie and at the very end he finally does it but they've been uh, talking about the entire movie you know what I'm right. talking about yeah. where he spins his head and does a little dance yeah and, and it, mm. it did not live up to my expectations yeah because yeah. they hyped up this thing and then you get to and you're like <laughs> that's it all right <laughs> I, felt, I felt really Aww. bad not liking that movie. but oh but <laughs> no but if I had to, but it'd probably be in one of my top fifty of every movie I mean of all the movies top fifty like. Beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. Visually. it's cool. To look Visually, at. it was really good to look at. So, that alone, I could watch it again just based off of I want to look at it again. You know, yeah. and I know you like it, so I'm not going to poo poo yeah. it, but it's just like it, it is what it you is. You were I misled. Think I, yeah, I was misled. So it's kind of like um, what was another movie that was like that? Oh, uh, Catfish. Yeah, we yeah. went and saw Catfish because in the movie, I was very led. misled because we in the, were Catfish. Yeah, we were Catfish by the maybe that was the point. Yeah, they, oh, no. clever. <laughs> It all well, makes sense. Now it all it's comes genius. Yeah, genius. <laughs> well, no, in the trailer, we we all, it looked like we a, it was a like horror a suspenseful movie. horror movie. Yeah, and then we sit down and we kept we, like it was a like now that we know what it was like that we, was yeah. a real horror yeah. movie though. Yeah, because cause it was you real. Think you're yeah, one person. And but you yeah, somebody else. because yeah. if y'all haven't seen Catfish, I'm sure by now y'all know what it is because the show and everything. But yeah, it's like it's about a whole new term this, now. you know got like people who online date with people they never see them they never talk to them except for in texts or messages they think it's someone and they finally meet them and it's someone completely different like you're thinking you're talking to a 20 year old model and it's a 40 year old fat office man like <laughs> he just but you know what I mean like it's that shock factor You, this is who you've been talking to it, mm-hmm. it always reminds oh. me of when internet was real new it was in the late 90s and uh, Chase and I our sister Heidi first started oh, getting God. on chat rooms oh, and Jesus. I'm like Heidi you have to be very careful because people you know, don't give them your information. And she's 12 at the time, and she says, well, I lied and said I'm 13. That was Heidi's <laughs> idea. I, I lied, I'm not 12, I'm 13. Of throwing them off the set. Yeah, Aww. they'll never know. Right. Jeez. No, but like, no, but that that was just creepy to me. But that was another, I, I you know, example of a movie that was just kind of misled by the trailer. I, I think, yeah. 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 But it, but Catfish was a good movie. Now that I know what it was, you watch it again, yeah. and it's kind of yeah, it's interesting. So maybe yeah. that's the deal with Alice in Wonderland. It as a standalone, just see it, not thinking about the animated feature, not thinking about what you saw in the trailer. Just sit down on and its watch own. it. Because yeah. I think I, I've only seen it once. Yeah. 
Yeah. And yeah, that was in the theater. theater. That was it. So it maybe if we sit down and watch it again. Yeah, you need to watch it again. I, I didn't down. see it in the theater. See, I didn't. Yeah. I don't think I saw a trailer for it, and I didn't see it in the theater. We saw so 3D, I didn't have as high didn't we? expectations. We saw it in 3D. We yeah. saw it in 3D in the theater. So yeah, like you, you didn't have a whole lot of expectations. Yeah. Like I know the Alice in Wonderland story. Yeah. I've seen the animated one, but it also been a long time since I'd seen that. Yeah. But so so just so, if in general, for a movie that you don't go in having expectations, I loved it, and well, that's probably yeah. why. And besides, I didn't have and besides you, I do know some people who liked it. So it's not like you're the only one in the world who liked it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I did, we need to sit down and watch it again and just try to give it a standalone. If we watch it again, we're like, okay, standalone film, and it still is kind of tweaks our... Put it on your revisit list. Revisit list, yeah. So mm-hmm. I think we'll, we'll do that. All right, well, good deal. Um, Starla. All right. <laughs> that, that was your intro. I'm, Starla. Ready I'm up. taking Ready it up. back to the old school, because I'm an old fool. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> The Parent Trap, 1961. Not yes. the Lindsay Lohan classic. <laughs> well, yeah. But the Hayley Mills classic. Yeah, the classic. Hey, that came right. out in 99, so, or 98, or something like that. So. Yeah, 98. 98. Yeah. There you go. See? It is so fantastic. It, I, <laughs> back in the day, Michael and I worked in a video store, and when he knew I was coming into work, because we couldn't show our movies, and that's the majority of the movies I love, he put on The Parent Trap. And it's so wonderful. Everybody knows the story by now, you know, Twin girls separated when they were youngsters meet up again at camp and realize that, you know, they share the same parents. They switch unbeknownst to the parents when they go home from camp. And when they have to switch them back, of course, they spring the trap and their parents fall in love again. Yeah. Hijinks <laughs> ensues. Yes. But it's. It, not only was it done really well, I mean, this is before they had a lot of special effects, and so being able to split the screen and make it realistically look like Haley Mills was two different people. Yeah. Really great. No, and, no, awesome. and for the, the time. Like, yeah. yeah. And like we were talking about when we were looking up movies from the, this kind of, this week, it was like, this movie came out in 1960 or yeah. 1940? That was such a good, yeah. well done movie. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, so, I mean, you understand. <coughs> and there was, time. there was a double in the movie for the up close things, like when they fight at the dance and, you know, she's got to be hands on. Yeah, with, with, with her, with her mm-hmm. virtual self. That girl <laughs> was never credited, never put in anything. And Walt Disney gave her an award for being the most successful actress never to appear on film. Because technically she never appeared on film, but oh she was the but double. She, that's yeah. crazy. She would, looked like Haley and was built like Haley. And the only time they showed her face on is after cake had splattered all over her face. So that's really her face, but they've got her majority covered in cake. So you wouldn't be able to tell it was a different girl. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow! And they had, yeah. they didn't give her any credit. And they, that they didn't put it in that's the credits crazy. or yeah. anything. Like, like on, no. they put Nothing. the water guy who served her. Yeah. But they didn't yeah. put the actual girl. That's they terrible. They wanted to keep up with the illusion. Yeah. 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 That it was too How many of you would go for that deal? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Hey, but how maybe much, if Walt how Disney asked. Yeah, Walt Disney. Yeah. Chase, I want you to be in our next movie, but not your face. Yeah. Not you really. Just kind of your back. Just your like. Just your just your feet. <laughs> and of course, you know, uh, Maureen O'Hara, who played the mom, mm-hmm. yes. she coined one of my favorite phrases, or, you know, her character did, uh, child bride. It makes me very happy. <laughs> yeah. She when loves When speaking child of brides. her ex-husband's new fiancé. Right. So, and, in a sarcastic way, not just like, yeah. child bride. And it's it's <laughs> just very, it's, it's, I guess it's everybody's fantasy in a way, especially if you come from a divorced home, that somehow... There would be another one of you that's going through the exact same things, and you'd meet up at camp, and the two of you would get your parents back together 13 years after their divorce, and somehow they still love each other, and they're both independently wealthy and pretty. I mean, that never yeah, right. happens. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're wealthy and pretty. This oh, no. might be the most far-fetched yeah. Disney movie ever made. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, jeez. No, Wally. Yeah, wow. Wally. Yeah, jeez. But, and of course, Haley Mills, just she's just wonderful. She was one of the original Disney princesses. She just she was the the girl before, you know, Miley Cyrus or... Would you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, or if you got Lauren. her out there in the 60s and you got her twerking, she'd do it. She would have. She would have. <laughs> yeah. But she would have made it look classy, all right? Yeah, right. She's got she an English cur- accent. She would have curtsied for <laughs> her. Uh, yeah. We should do a little bow. <laughs> and of course, we jam out to "Let's Get Together" yeah. in my car. Let's get together. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I mean, it's it's just fantastic. Later, I like it. And it's not on Blu-ray. 
Really? Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Disney, if you're listening, I know you do. Right. I'll yeah. Wonder, <laughs> yeah. I wonder, do they have any sort of date when they may release it on Blu-ray? Or it's a shame if they don't. It's not happening. Because yeah. if they have they weird, really Disney's weird about movies, that. yeah, Disney's that, weird about the releases. Yeah. yeah. And it's I a mean, shame. that's a classic. They need to release yeah, that they one. Yeah, they do. should. Yeah, that's... I've got the double DVD set. Oh. They came out in like, DV, what, 2000? DVD? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I know. We don't have Blu-rays DVDs, here. <laughs> Di- you mean digital downloads, Starlight. And, oh. and in my <laughs> research, I even found out that there was, well, I knew about this one, unfortunately. But in 1986, they did Parent Trap 2. Mm. It was a did TV they really? Movie. Yeah. Oh, wow. They followed it up with a three. Really? And what? a wow. four. Hawaiian honeymoon. Oh, oh my god. I know. That's oh, horrible. that's awful. It's it like went the, the way nerds. of. The nerds! Uh, yeah. yeah. That's Revenge bad. of the Nerds and Brady Bunch. It just which, kinda. Yeah. On Revenge yeah. of the Nerds, real quick, which one did we watch that we just were just <laughs> clenching our face? Was it like yes. the no, fourth, it was the fourth one? one. Or it was, was it Nerds in Paradise? Nerds in Paradise. We, we, oh no, that's the second that's one. The oh no, so one. it was yeah. like the fourth It was the fourth one. Yeah, it was the fourth And one. we sat there watching it. Because we like, getting married, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so upsetting you can't look away. So if you enjoy being angry at a movie. Yeah, like that. Yes. You know what? <laughs> um, I just want to go back to podcasts like, what, two? A movie that we never want to watch again. <laughs> like, that is going to revise I do not understand Revenge. why some of these movies would need to have a second they were or third the or a fourth. They were milking the, milk the, the couch the flow, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the first yeah, one. Yeah, Revenge of the Nerds. I think the first one did so. The first one did so good. Yeah. And was good. It was fun. That they're like, oh. Oh, we have a concept. So they thought just throwing right. nerdy people on the screen for hours at a time. Yeah. Well, we even got fun. angry watching Back to the Future 3. Yeah, Back to the Future 3 kind of pissed me off, too. Yeah. I, it just There's something about that movie. I mean, wh- why? Well, uh, why does every movie's <laughs> instinct, or it just, oh. why does everything's instinct go, me, like want to go to the West? Like, 90210 did it. Oh, uh, we don't even have to talk no, about that. No, 90210 did it. They had a flashback. Dylan's and it's, past yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, and then, and then Back to the Future 3. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, I just had another one in my head and I can't think of it. But why they went to the West. Oh, whatever. But it doesn't it's need to happen. Fifel, well, Fifel Goes West was good. All right. That was oh, okay. Good Fifel is the one person. <laughs> That's the one okay who can go West, west movie. <laughs> Kanye? I mean, what's up with that? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 Kanye yeah. goes west. Yeah. Oh, uh, north I, by northwest. Oh. Uh, right. oh, I was gonna say on the Back to the Future. I haven't even seen the second or third one, so I'm just the gonna s- leave it at that. The second so one. The second one's good. Second I, the one, third no, one. Just, just enjoy the first one. No. Be happy with your life. The second yeah. and third one aren't as bad as they say. It's not. No, the second it one I can't con- do it. But is it too worth much watching? Going on. Well, not bad and worth watching. It's your kid's body. Your, totally your daughter's disobey. marrying a black man. <laughs> like, that's what they say on Family Guy. I enjoy He's like, I don't care. And he's like, Doc, I don't want to be around you. <laughs> the second one's good. I think the problem with Starla in the second one. They change girlfriends. Yeah. Like, we're not going to notice that Marty because McFly the, has a different girl. Yeah, girlfriend. in the first one, it's one girl. And in the beginning, like, the beginning, it ends, the first one ends. I can't think of the girl. With them going to the, the past, or going to the future, sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then the second one starts off with them going to the future, and it's a completely different actress. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. the, the, the Crispin Glover. It was Elizabeth yeah. Shue in the second and third yeah. one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Crispin, Crispin Glover, Glover, that, yeah. They used old footage of him from the first one. Didn't want to pay him for it. Yeah. So, he yeah, had to sue him. And then wow. they had somebody fill in for him. So I mean, they got a guy. You think yeah. that the, you could, you could. Yeah. Shoot me so they with got a guy that. Yeah. Glover. So yeah. they got a guy that kind of looks similar, but they aged him because it's like supposed to be old, yeah. like older Crispin Glover. Yeah. yeah. And you can tell it's not him, yeah. and it's just awkward. So That's that that bad. that kind of yeah. sucks. Yeah. But then, but I, and then the story's a little clustered because it's like them going to the future so they can save his kids, and then it goes to where Biff like. He ends up stealing like the future uh, the almanac, almanac yeah. of yeah. of every sports result from the past like ten years. Gives so it he, to his younger son. Yeah. So I mean, then he goes back. So then he goes back in time. So then it messes up this wormhole, and then it's just it's a lot going on. You need a flow chart. My motivation to watch this movie is just increasing no, but, as but, we speak. But, see, as bad, <laughs> but as bad as that sounds, you can watch it and know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like you know what's happening. You're competent. It's but just you it's just spend kinda... the whole time excited for when it shows you little pieces of the first one. Because that's the one you wish you were watching. Yeah. <laughs> and so it does. Well, it does. Well, they do yeah. show you a little bit. Because it, end, it yeah. ends in 1955 again. So you've got two Martys and, and you know, yeah. two Docs, and they're all trying to avoid seeing each other. And it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. I don't think it's I bad. I am I I think it's good. Anybody who owns the set. We own the set. That's what <laughs> yeah. hurts me. Every day I wake Caitlin, up Caitlin angry. and I drove around looking for that set. We own that set. 
<laughs> I wake up angry every day because I have the third Back to the Future no. and yeah. because I have the third and fourth Alien. Yeah, see, that's why I haven't bought the set. Of, I, that's why I haven't bought the set of that. It's an awesome package. That's right. Whoa. Oh. Thank you, Chuck. What about the yeah, set? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Michael was standing up. Um, it's an awesome presented movie package. All right. Uh, box set of sorts. Yes. But I don't want to buy it for the fact that I don't care for the third one, which I know it wasn't uh, his fault. Um, and I don't want the fourth one. They both aren't good. They're not good movies. They're awful, awful movies. And so I don't want to spend $50 on two movies I hate when they're selling for $10 a piece. Yeah. Amen, sugar. That's right. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm fuming. I'm f- foaming at the mouth. You know, and, and I feel like this is something we will probably address further eventually. No, at some line. point we'll get yeah. there. We'll get there. Topic. Movies you wish you didn't buy or you feel like you overpaid for. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, where to start? <laughs> where to start? Oh, no, I don't know. I have a few I could probably say. All right. Uh, anything else with Back to the Future? Oh, Back to Future. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Parent right. Trap. I forgot we were for a minute. I know. It's a little Parent like Trap, Back Parent to the Trap. Yeah. Yeah. But it, I back mean, this movie, it's fantastic. And it's if you've seen it, revisit it. If you haven't seen it, see it. It's it's just so wonderful. It's It's simplistic. And and, and classic, but it's so worth it. And and to to back you up, the sixties is when it came out, right? Yeah, 61. that's one of my favorite time periods in history. And and um, a lot of good movies came out there. Oh, and the best line: one of the girl's friends at camp says to her after she's met her twin, says to her, "The nerve of her coming here with your face." <laughs> that is so fantastic. <laughs> Nerve for coming with your face. I don't like she had the option for thing. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, so good choice. Good choice. And um, what stands out the most in that movie for you? For me, I think it's it it's how they start out hating each other and pulling pranks on each other, and then later they use those pranks against their dad's new fiance. I just love I love getting that that they got back at this horrible adult. Yeah. She's a horrible woman. She was. And I just I think it's I think it's neat how it comes full circle between them, you know, hating each other and then learning that hey we're better we're better together than we are apart. <clears throat> That's right. And they were meant to be together, so they found each other. It's just nice. See, look at that. I needed Aww. friends growing yeah, up. Yeah, so I was like, <laughs> I liked watching movies where people found each other, but I didn't want to find anyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm lonesome. Oh, <laughs> dang. Don't say that. Yeah, Aww. that's okay. I know, Michael's like, I'm married to you. We celebrated anniversary yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like, you found someone. It's because I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. No, what she's trying to say, and this is for our other two siblings who ever listen to this, she wishes she had a sister who would be there for her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just like I don't like controversy. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> At the time that I saw and fell in love with Parent Trap, to be fair, they were probably babies, so they weren't much of up yeah, for hijinks. Um, that's so funny. I know. I, I I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know they're gonna be like that son of a. I've never listened to this. Now I'm that never I'm listening an to adult, again. Yeah. unsubscribe. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah now, that I, now that I'm adult, I'm still waiting. No. <laughs> now that I'm adult, I have plenty of people for hijinks. But when I was growing up, and I know when at that time when you yeah. when you would when you're watching two close siblings and I mean yeah. it's a movie but like sibling movie people who are yeah. like now let's do this or this or this or this or let's do this together yeah and now and like you said now that you're older you can we all can respect each other and not get you know be like yeah. mm, get away but when you're seven and eight years older than yeah your yeah you're like oh <laughs> it's like uh, yeah <laughs> play with me Delilah no get away from me nerd <laughs> yeah, like, it's pretty much <laughs> <laughs> You're not cool. Delilah. Yeah, Delilah, yeah. I'm, that's their alias. Okay. <laughs> Delilah, Delilah 2. We've already given away the name of one of them, so. It's yeah, all right. I don't care about them. All right, so, uh, Michael, you're yeah. up. Okay, I picked, uh, as my favorite live-action movie, was uh, Tron. Hey! From 1982. Not the, not the latest one from... 2010 or whatever it was, which wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was it was cool, and I, I appreciate what they're trying to do with Jeff Bridges and everything. But that's his code for I didn't really like it. Yeah, no. it, it wasn't whatever, bad. Whatever soundtrack. he says, I appreciate what you're no. trying to do. Dude, Tron that Legacy nice has one of the best soundtrack. soundtrack is wrong. awesome. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> I got I got two songs from them. Yeah, no, dude, Daft Punk. Yeah, made the one of the coolest. Like we have the uh, Infinity. Yeah, and one of the coolest power chips we have is the Tron one because that's it awesome. plays that music from it. That's Aww. pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, it was. <laughs> it's so it was good. 1982. It was so ahead of its time. Um, I read that uh, the Academy didn't give it any uh, 
Oscar nominations because they thought that uh, using computers was cheating for special effects. And now that's like... Oh, wow. That's like all the, that's, that's like all the categories. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Yeah, that's like all they do now. So yeah, they thought they were cheating. So That's when they cared about yeah. being practical. Yeah. Right. Right, and but now it's all now but yeah, Hollywood just fake. all the yeah, yeah all the work they went into to do it. Like I, I read that they filmed all the computer scenes in, in uh, they were black and white, and they went in and added all the color later on. So just the amount of work it took is just amazing. But uh, yeah, I love the light cycle scene. You know, oh yeah, those are so cool. I think those were better in the older one than the new one. How how they did it, you know? Yeah, just, no, the Tron is awesome. Yeah, and I blame and, you for showing me that movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and just as a, I, I love computers anyway so just seeing uh see the movie that was inside a computer was just so cool as a kid yeah and see um, starla yeah. teases us about it because yeah. the, the trailer for the second one yeah I it's know. like With this freaking i got pager. a hold of your dad yeah he's got a page, <laughs> a page from your dad oh it's, like, it's 2010 why'd you get a pager bro <laughs> yeah well, that's technology he had <laughs> yes what he had yeah so he's paging him because that's <laughs> yes, what he had that's all he had from 92 every this time this carrier pigeon just sent me a message <laughs> from your dad <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yeah, but, the Raven. You know, no, when they <laughs> no in the in the original when they break in when they break into uh, you know the rubber company. Yeah, he makes a makes a joke about how big that door is. But in the new one, when he breaks into it, he makes kind of a reference the to reference it. Reference to that. Yeah, and I thought that was That's awesome. that was cool. So that was from the cool. No, and and I think they 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 tried to bring as much as the first one. See, Starla's laughing. She's she like, is. "That's nerd. my nerd." Yeah. Nerd. Yeah. Have you seen that one, Starla? Yeah. The original. I have not seen it. You haven't so seen Tron? You'll have to show uh, me. Yeah, definitely. Add that to the list once. Yeah, it's awesome. Tron's good. Yeah. But if you're not, let's put it this way, though. If you're not a fan of, like, sci-fi weirdness or, like... <laughs> sci-fi weirdness. Sci-fi you, know, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if you're not into that type category. of thing, <laughs> yeah. you may be bored. Because yeah. I can understand why if you if some people may not like Tron. Yeah. Because there's things in it. I mean, it takes a little bit to kind of get into yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I can see a lot of there's a lot of terms like yeah, that people might yeah. throw people off, and there's there's a lot of little um, computer little Easter eggs in it. Yeah, yeah like and, when uh, Sark is looking at his computer screen. Yes. Pac-Man's in there. Pac-Man's yeah. in there, and yeah. uh, there's uh, a Mickey Mouse somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mickey Mouse stuff. So they put little Easter eggs for you. To yeah, yeah. I'm even back balls, then. But it's good. Yeah, even at that time they're doing Easter eggs. Yeah. so that just proves. Yeah, they've been doing that for years. And every human has their own computer counterpart. You know, like Bruce, his computer counterpart is Tron. And then Jeff Bridges is Clue. Yeah, so Clue. Cool. See, because he's Clue is the is the villain. Is the villain. Yeah. So that's just so weird to me because yeah. he's supposed to be the, he's a good guy. And then yeah. He, well, he made him. He made him, and he he didn't. You know, he told him to make everything perfect. So he just kept doing. Went that. out of control. Yeah, went yeah. out of control. Yeah. He tried and just and failed. failed. <laughs> God. Oh my gosh. So. Um, yeah. We'll okay. To, we'll have to show it to you. Yeah, yeah we need to watch Tron. Um, okay, so what <clears throat> stands out the most from that? Oh, that um, just the light cycle scene. It's just the coolest thing ever. Yeah. No, they and did they made, a, they they made did a, a video really game. Yeah, it was it wasn't a big hit at the box office, but they released uh, an arcade game, which I think probably made more. I think it made more money than the movie did. You know, Jeez. at that time. But, you, could, you could play a little mini games that were in Tron. Uh, on the arcade. Which probably yeah, helped, honestly. Cool. If it made more money yeah. than the movie, it probably helped get people to want to watch the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, this game's awesome. Now let's watch the movie where this game's yeah. from. Like, yeah, let's exactly. get into it. Yeah. But Tron is definitely one that I think has, as the years go by, lots of people love it. Mm-hmm. But I can see why at the time. It's like with st- like yeah. Star Wars, that, I mean, all that kind yeah. of stuff where it's like when it comes out, you're like, oh. And then it just, boom, it just becomes a hit and you're like, oh, crap. Like, yeah. Yeah. unexpected hit. Cult following. Cult following, yeah. yes. All right, yes, uh, cool. This might be the, this might be the longest podcast I we've ever done. So, or, uh, Disney. But yeah, it's because Disney. I'm, that's yeah. what I'm saying. This was one I was excited to talk about, but I knew we'd probably spend the most on. <coughs> um, Michael, you're distracting me. I, <laughs> I blame myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the first round out of the way. How do we feel? Are we good? I feel good. Any potty good. breaks? Do we need to pause this? Yeah. Anyone? No, we're, we're ready. All right, good. Forging ahead. Everyone out there, uh, get some popcorn. Um, <laughs> sit back Settle and relax. In. Put on something comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Put your feet up. Yeah, yeah. Put a, put a, put a log on the fire. This next round is for the ladies. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Our category is ass. <laughs> and moves. And moves. Uh, yeah. And moves. yeah. Oh, All right. Oh, so oh, this right. next one, as you know, is now going to be our favorite animated Disney movie. So yes. uh, Tron is not allowed, Michael. I know you wanted to pick it twice. Well, I didn't write any <laughs> notes for anything else. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Uh, so to get us going. I'm choosing one that Starla knows, Starla and Michael know, that I looked everywhere for, 
it is one of my, like, when I think of my childhood cartoon movie watching experience, <laughs> and even my adult uh, Disney movie watching experience, it is the Goofy movie. I absolutely love that movie. I think, <laughs> you know, I know people who have seen it, and I know a lot of people talk about the Extremely Goofy movie. I know Caitlin does, because she grew up with that one. But it's like, the Goofy movie was the movie to be at, because it's like, Goofy was always Mickey's neighbor, or, or on a trip with Donald Duck, and they gave him his own feature film, and then it, which led to him getting his own TV show, and then brought back the Extremely Goofy movie, and it's so good, and it's just, and it's so, I mean, it just makes me happy, like, for the fact that Max is, gra- you know, graduating high school, he wants to go, Max just, is his kid, yeah, Max is his kid, yeah, okay. and Donald, Donald is worried that his son is gonna become a, just this vigilante, and be this awful, like, doing gangs and going to war, just being awful. Just Damn. Being just, you think that's what he, movie? Yeah, yeah. Because Max gets uh, sent to the principal's office because uh, he uh, puts on uh, just this spontaneous concert of his favorite singer uh, during like a pep rally. And so then like, I know, you need to see, you, have y'all seen it? No, I've never seen it. No. <sighs> it's so, we're, dude, we're watching this movie. It's pretty good. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, so then he puts on this concert, he gets sent to the principal's office, and everyone, everyone who's seen it, he knows you get um, Polly Shore in that Leaning Tower of Cheese, uh, <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah, from, Maximum, uh, um, like that's oh, what it, no. it's so good. But hey, he's not <laughs> in it the whole. He's not in it the whole movie. But right. no, but Polly Shore, and then you get, you know, it's just it, then okay, and then uh, Don, uh, Donald, wow. You said uh, I'm so ago. yeah. I didn't yeah. say anything. What you did? You said Donald's worried that his oh, son. Go- goofy. Oh, okay. oh wow. Okay. Okay. My... So I thought Donald was in the movie. Too. No, 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 no. It's uh, not Donald. No, goofy. Wanna... Well, not I was, yeah. Letting... Yeah. I was letting you finish, but Forget yeah, you no, did say no, no, no. Correct goofy. me because I'm so passionate about this okay. movie. I, I won't know my errors. Okay. Goofy <laughs> is worried his son is going to get in trouble and become this gangster grown up. Oh, so okay. then he is setting up a, a, a spontaneous trip for him and Max to go on this father-son date throughout the country, to so they can go on a fishing trip. Like him and his father took, and Max is planning on going to this party because there's this girl he likes there, mm. and that's what he wants to do. They're having like his favorite singers doing a uh, pay per view, and they're gonna all go to this party and watch it, and so that's what he wants to do. And then Goofy, not Donald, Goofy <laughs> ends up stealing him and going on this trip, and it's just the, it's just Goofy trying to just make sure he has a good time with his son while his son's not even into it, and it's just the jokes, and he takes him to this park where it's like it's a ra- it's a, a possum park. And it's like, Goofy's so into it, and it's like a, a scarier CeCe's Pizza, because it's like you go, and it has these little animatronic possums singing and dancing, but their heads are blowing off, there's kids crying. It's, Aww. it's and, and Goofy's just into it, Max is just miserable. Mm-hmm. And then there's this part where this guy dressed in a possum, just like, who's your favorite possum? And Max slaps him in the head, and it just spins in circles. It's it's awesome. And I'm not giving it, <laughs> I'm not giving it justice, so but there's little things it. in it. Like yeah. I'm so passionate about this movie. With Bigfoot? Yes! Okay. And Bigfoot! <laughs> oh, wow! Bigfoot! Dude, dude, yes! Just, because yeah. it shows, so it shows, like... Listen to how excited oh, Yes, oh. because, because Goofy, they go, they stop at this lake, they go fishing, and then he ends up catching Bigfoot. And... <laughs> <laughs> and then the the scene where if you're if you've seen this movie the scene where it you know these headphones fall on Bigfoot's head and it's the Bee Gees playing and then he starts uh, Bigfoot just starts giggling and he starts dancing in the background no. so like they're trapped in this car hoping Bigfoot goes away and he's just uh, in the background dancing like and it's, it's it's the funniest thing and then it's just a good father son movie it's a good like bonding moment it's you know it, it's a good movie to show your kids it's a good movie adults can watch and it just shows you how you may underestimate your parents. If you actually enjoy your parents, mm-hmm. you may underestimate them because you, you're you too busy focusing on your friends and this to even think about, well, maybe, you know, if you're a single parent, you that you need to spend time with them as well because it just is it's really good. What is Goofy, by the way? He's a dog. He's a dog, okay. yeah. So, um... Yeah, he's a dog. But I think... I heard that. I just didn't know yeah, Go- like Yeah, Goofy's a dog. Okay. But my, my love for this movie, like, I'm... Tearing up at the thought of this movie. It is so you good. You're so sweet right I now. I love this movie. Like, it's one of the greatest movies you will ever watch. I'm glad that you're that passionate about it. I will have yeah, to see it. it yes. Yeah, it makes me so happy. And we looked everywhere for it. And y'all y'all got it for me on uh, online. Y'all yep. had to find it for me. Yep. But it's so good. Like, so I do. watch it and it just makes and me happy. we're ha- like, he wants this movie gone. Yeah. Know. Like, <laughs> what's his crap? Yeah, where's his garbage? <laughs> but it just, it's so good. Well, that's it, cool like it. <laughs> it's so good. But um, I do recommend it because I don't I don't know how many people have seen it and I don't think a lot of people talk about it. But it's such a good movie over not just like a cartoon movie. Let's say it in digital. Like it's it's I mean it's a goofy movie. <laughs> no, 
pun intended. Like you're gonna watch, they're gonna make jokes in there that aren't gonna hit you, but it's <laughs> it's so good that everyone needs to see it, and I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna put the, all, all of our time talking about the Goofy movie, but it makes me so happy that I I will forever love it because it just it's so good. Well, that's the best reason for it to be a favorite. Yes, right. like because we own a lot of Disney movies, we've seen a lot of Disney movies, and it's just. And it's that—that that is my favorite. I need it, and I love it. <laughs> and I wish you could see. If you were trapped on a desert island, that would be my top five movies, just because it's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> like they're all—they're all staring at me like I just pooped for the first time. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, they're did like, it. "You did it!" No. Yeah. No, it's no, it's so, so passionate about it's it. so That's good. Right. It's so good. It's like it's like me with Pooh's Grand Adventure. It makes yeah. you happy. That's a yeah. good thing. And I don't care if it sounds yeah. nerdy. If y'all have seen anyone nerdy. out there who's seen the Goofy movie and knows everything I'm talking about, you'll get why it's my favorite Disney movie. Because it was also in a time. I mean, it was like early '90s, mid '90s. Yeah. So I mean, it's a time where they actually cared about their movies. <laughs> you know, for like not Disney Pixar movies or. Yeah. Or Miley Cyrus or whatever, you know what I mean? Like they, it was they something. Didn't have to be yeah, mainstream they took they took something. a background character for Mickey Mouse yeah. and Donald Duck, gave him his own movie, and it was executed perfectly. Yeah. So you need a hug. Don't you? I do. I do. I need you to rock me to sleep. <laughs> 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 no. All right. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, goofy movie, bar none, the greatest Disney animated movie. Wow. Right. That's a follow bold follow up with that nerds. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> yeah, no, I was so. gonna say I don't think I can top <laughs> yeah. that that's that excitement statement. and passion there. Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. I can't. I think that's the most excited I've been in four podcasts. So let's just get, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm no, teasing. Disney gives us a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Like, because we gr- all of us we all know all of us grew up with Disney. Movies. Yeah, it doesn't matter what movie it is. Like because a lot of the movies that we like, like Oliver and Company stuff like that, came out when y'all were kids or yeah. before yeah. that. Yeah. Before yeah. y'all were born. I think Oliver Company yeah. was like, what, 78? So you were just born? Close. Or no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two years before. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. So y'all were both like one and two. Yeah. yeah. So it just is insane. I know. Yeah. It's, it's like we we're talking about what was the first one? Snow White? Yeah, 1939. Yeah. That's wow. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the first. No, it was 30, 39, I, I, think, I think, because it was the very first. It was the very first one he made. By yeah. Disney. So Snow our White. grandpa was nine years yeah. old. Yeah, see, and we yeah. all have seen Snow White. We all love Snow yeah. White. See, and we all make fun movies, of it. They're yeah. all classics. Everybody knows all of them. It's an easier topic to, to talk, talk about. about and yeah. go on about for hours. Yeah, yeah exactly. Everyone I apologize for taking all the time. time but no, oh. no, that's cool. But we will watch a Goofy movie. I'm telling you. You're going to watch the whole <laughs> All you're, you're going to be thinking about while we watch it is this is what Chase likes. I, I'm <laughs> done talking about the Goofy movie. But wait, don't Let forget the yeah, Goofy movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And if you're not right. sold yet, brought to you by the Goofy movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done. Okay, Caitlin, top that. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. No, my favorite Disney animated movie is going to have to be Tarzan. I absolutely love that movie. Yeah, makes, don't get me started about Tarzan. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. No, he, he, he's very passionate about that movie, too. <laughs> Not so much as Goofy. No, I, I love that movie. That I've watched that movie my whole life. It just makes me really happy. All the characters in it are just great. I love Turk and Tantor and everybody. Tantor! Yeah. Is this Water Yeah. It looks it was questionable. questionable to me. <laughs> no. Oh, just, it's so little, great. Little, I quote that bastard. movie, like, just so many things from that movie all the time. You know, I had Literally, my, all the time. She uh, would say things about I'm that. I'm an assistant teacher, and I was teaching my two-year-olds the other day the, of these word cards that say, one said gorilla, and I'm sitting there going, gorilla! <laughs> yeah. And they're just looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, but gorilla, I, gorilla. I know, gorilla. We, we, we actually sat there, when we went to go see Godzilla in the theater, we looked at each other like, Godzilla, Godzilla. I know, I actually got the like, little animation of Tarzan yeah, drawing Godzilla. gorilla on the board and sent it to him. It was like, Godzilla. It's so great. I just love it. And eventually I got the kids to start doing it with me. Like, yeah. like that is but, just the best. And the music is awesome. Like, Yeah, who, uh, the music. Phil Collins. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Collins, right. It's a soundtrack for the entire I movie. I love That's the cool. soundtrack. Yeah. See, so it just a lot of Disney movies have good soundtracks, but mm-hmm. that one it really stands out. It's one that you remember and people sing along to. It's one that I've had the songs on CDs before. I don't have it yeah. on my phone. I'm not that up to date yet, but like, <laughs> I love it. Well, like Phil Collins does that one, and like I love. We talked about Wally was one I really love, and Peter Gabriel does that. Like he does the oh, entire yeah. soundtrack for Wally, oh, and those two cool. guys are so similar yeah. that their yeah, their just, soundtrack. Styles were just like yeah. yeah, 
perfect. That's one of those movies, like, it, as the songs come up, you just sing along to every song, know all the words. It just yeah. makes me so happy. It's a really good movie. Yeah. And the story is great. It's just, I mean, <coughs> it's really different. I mean, this kid, his parents die. They get, you know, uh, their ship gets messed up, and they have to go on this island, and they build a home for themselves. And then the uh, leopard, you know, just kills them. And he, this baby's just all by himself, and... You know, what are the odds? This gr- mama gorilla who just lost her baby comes and finds him, and she yeah, just takes and care of him and takes him as yeah. her own. Yeah. And it's like, Gerjack, right? That's yeah, it. Uh, I want to make sure I'm like, saying it right. Is it Kerjack? Or how do you Kerjack, say it? I think. Something like Kerbstone. that. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't agree with it. He doesn't want a baby that's different. He's like, he, he's not our kind. You can't have him. And she's determined that she's going to raise this baby, and she does. And then he ends up protecting them and taking yeah. care of their family and it's yeah. just such cool. a good movie the yeah. story is and wonderful yeah just the fact that it's just voice acting yeah like they did really good making you think you're really watching this movie with these people doing it because they all did such a good job yeah and i right can't there. remember uh who does the voice of jane but she's pretty funny yeah <laughs> i care right yeah I was in the theater with you when we saw it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh, Michael. I'm sick. Give me a break. It's an excuse for everything. Yeah, for you're everything. sick in the head, Michael. You're sick in the head. Uh, all right, so what stands out the most about this movie? Hmm, probably, like you said, the music. Probably the music. Yeah. That's something that does really stand out for me. I love any movie that I can sit there and sing along to every song in the movie. And so, ju- just, so Saw? just all the music it makes me really happy the lyrics yeah the, no phil collins is everything is it's great and yeah. one too is like randy newman i i we we tease about him but he did the, you know a lot of the stuff for toy story and i like, yeah i'm just like this is this is awesome and, it makes and me you happy. forget you know elton john yeah elton john lion king, yeah lion king, king see yeah. and elton john it's did fantastic. wonderful for lion king so mm-hmm. i mean it just They've done a good job with getting, you know, these classic the right people for the right artists. Yeah. yeah. Because like I love Frozen, I know it's something different, but like Frozen Not the same. It's it's, yeah. good, it's a good movie, but the music shit, we all know it. <laughs> like oh, damn. God. Like people love that. No, 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 no. That's bold. That is bold. You're going to lose Man. like half. Let it yes. go. Yeah. No, but okay. It's a good song, it's, but I'm saying compared to like if you if you get like a Phil Con- maybe because it's a soundtrack and this is like a music. I don't know. more maybe- towards kids. I know. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I know Tarzan is a kid movie. I know, too, but maybe Tarzan is because more... it's not a musical. You know, I, I, I guess. S- you, I don't know. Music- it's not like Disney princesses or anything. Because that was because yeah. he totally did the soundtrack, which is yeah. like you know, but he, he yeah. wasn't like the Tarzan bust out with well, the- "Let It Go, <laughs> Let It Go." Oh, like, yeah. The songs from Tarzan and the songs from Lion King and stuff oh, yeah, like that. Like they yeah, like they were like yeah, hits. they were hits. Yeah, like, like mainstream like, hits. Let it go is yeah, right. But not in not the same sung. same way. It's yeah, it's yeah. the same sung way. By the characters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I maybe that's what, what I mean. Saying. Yeah, I don't. Like yeah, I don't mean. It's a yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's a different type of soundtrack. Completely. You could hate. Yeah. You could hate Lion King and love Circle of Life or love you know. Can you feel the love tonight? That, yeah, you know you yeah. can enjoy those songs without loving the movie. Even yeah, though. but you know, but you'll always know but where it's from. from. The yeah. yeah, like yeah. you'll hear Phil Collins, uh, "You'll Be in My Heart." Yeah, and you'll automatically know it's it's Tarzan. Like you're yeah. not gonna be like, "Oh, that's Phil Collins uh, yeah. from album two. Like no, yeah. like, <laughs> and you can enjoy it with the movie without. Yeah, the movie. exactly. So right. I mean, yeah, it's a standalone. Yeah. But let it go. You kind of have to you, know the context it comes from. Yeah. And, then and that makes after you... the same, after hearing "Let It Go" for the third time in a row, I, I got annoyed with it. It's a, it's like I love and then and but I could listen to Phil Collins from Tarzan. Well, only the third time. You know how many times <laughs> I've had to listen to it. I, I, I yeah, like right. that it took three times though for you to make. See, it. and if you're if you're listening to this and you love Frozen, I apologize. I like Frozen. We own it. I love Frozen. Yeah, but it's it's different. It's, it's different. I wish they would overplay it because the music was so good in in Tarzan. Even these other Disney movies, they never played it like they did Frozen. Yeah. You know, they played Let It Go on the radio. It's like, what are you doing? Like, because <laughs> leave, leave this where it well, needs to be, I, and that's in my mind or the movies. Like, I get was it out of the radio. what a junior when Lion King came out, and, and yeah. Circle of Life was on the radio. Was all it the really time. okay? Yeah. Well, then there you go. A lot. There you yeah. go. All right. Well, but I love Elton John, so I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you're like Elton John. But okay, but did you? But were you thinking like? Oh, this is from Lion King. Or were you thinking like I love Elton John? This I was I thinking this? I love Elton John. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because we we're not gonna be like oh I love Elsa. No, I love Frozen. Like this is from Frozen. I <laughs> it's like a, it. But I get what you're saying. It's you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like okay, I hope we all get what I'm saying. Because you know. All right. Huh. So okay. Anything else? Nope. 
good. <laughs> yeah, she's like, That's uh, my just aim for uh, Nope, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so Starla. Let it go. Oh. Let it, let's go. All right. Well, my favorite's Frozen. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Robin Hood. Hey, hey. The yes, 1973 classic. I would say Men in Tights. And I had such a vivid memory of seeing this one in the theater, and I wasn't born until 77, but I read that they had a re-release in 82, so that makes like, sense. Yes! <laughs> I saw this in theater, but I wasn't born yet, what? I know, I wasn't losing my mind. You had mind. a personal showing in the womb. Right. Oh. <laughs> I was in the womb a while. Oh my god. <laughs> if it was 73. Yeah, like 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, 12 uh, years, 16 years. But, uh, no, it's, it's so fantastic. It's... The animation's beautiful. The backgrounds yes. are yes. beautiful in it. And the story, I, I t- was telling Michael, it's like this marriage of, of just southern charm and European sophistication because you've got Robin and Maid Marian and they're just so, you know, they're English and they're proper and they're just so cute when they talk. And then <laughs> you've got Little John. And little, little John? Little yeah! John! Yeah! <laughs> little, little John! Yeah! I need to emphasize yeah. my yeah. letters better. Okay! <laughs> this is where he originated. It's a yeah. little Little story. John, not Little, little John. Little, little John, little little John. John. Right. is little someone John completely not different. Not. <laughs> 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 All right. Walk <laughs> out. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Robin, who we busting up now? Yeah! What? That might be a better movie. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm I sorry. I couldn't think of a done. way to make yeah. it better if Chase has found it. Anyway. <laughs> And on the subject of Little John, uh, he's done by Phil Harris. Yes. Turned down for what? Okay. <laughs> oh, I know Michael's the one keeping it going. You're going to get in trouble. Sorry. You have to go home with her later. I'm sorry. <laughs> he also did Baloo. Yes. Yes. And he did Thomas O'Malley. Dude. Okay. Thomas O'Malley is the greatest character. <laughs> Even though the Goofy movie. All is right. The no. Best. Okay. All right. Also. Uh, it's the soundtrack's wonderful. Yes, it's fantastic. It's uh, Roger Miller, and he wrote and sang, wrote and performed most of the songs. Was he because he was the rooster running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. Alan Adele. Yeah, there you go. And he did uh, the whistle song mm-hmm. and Oodle Lolly yeah. and Not in Nottingham. That's fantastic. That's a good song. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, which would be another example of a uh, good kind of. Score slash soundtrack, yeah. Yeah. like something that's in the background, but it's not like mm-hmm. sung. Yeah, and know, he was you know. a, a mainstream country singer. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's so it's Robin Hood, Little John, walking through the. Park. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. so good. We still it, sing it that. Is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We yeah. still sing that. And sees the fat one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then it yeah. turns <laughs> into yeah. a football game. Yeah. And it's She's like, Lady <laughs> Cluck. Just yeah. knocking those rhinoceros I off. For I mean, she's tough. I love she's that. Fantastic. So and uh, they have little Funko Pops of uh, Robin Hood and Hiss and. Uh, I know, and I need to start we, getting I them. Yeah. Get, we saw Robin Hood Funko, but the case was jacked up. So I was like, should we get it? And I was like, well, let me think about it. We just didn't do it. And I regret uh, it because that was. Damage. Oh, I know. It's so we'll have great. To order it. Yeah, we need to. And then the fact that they have, you know. Maid Marian saying to the little Skippy Rabbit when he's pretending to be Robin Hood, she says, Robin, you're so brave and impetuous. <laughs> I just love that they put yeah, impetuous, impetuous in, in a Disney this movie. Yeah. kid's movie. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like before classic Disney movies, they made them, and if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. They yeah. didn't dumb it yeah. down. Yeah. They didn't try. Yeah. And now it's like this weird... Yeah, they, they're they trying to play to their audience too much in some of the newer Disney movies, and it makes me sad, because I think... They were so good. That they're mm-hmm. underestimating they kids. Like, like, if you right. were like us it's, and grew up watching all these like movies... It's like a lot of adult subject matter. Yeah. yeah. And it, you know, helped... with Movies with me, it helped me with, you know, being a good person. Because there's yeah. things that happen yeah. in these movies that I grew up watching, and it's like, oh... Okay, this is how we need to do it. Yeah, yeah, and they they can they can address adult. I mean, Robin Hood. We're dealing with taxes. We're dealing with the yeah. government taking all the poor they people's chained, money. This poor <laughs> dog with the broken foot's chained yeah. to the wall. Yeah, and and Robin is a thief for good. I yeah. mean, it, it's yeah, it's kind of dealing with that. What's right and what's wrong? Where's the line drawn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when it comes to exact the law. Exactly. Yeah. And well, and Fifele goes corrupt, west about immigration. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so Corrupt heavy politicians stuff. and yeah, I mean that's sure. it's it's all fun and cute because they're animals and I love it and that's another thing I love about this movie. There's not one person. Yeah, it is all animals. Yeah, and it's 
it's a classic tale, and like Alan Adele says at the beginning, you know, this, this, the Animal Kingdom version is the true version. Yeah, it is. No, Robin, because when I think of Robin Hood, my I don't go to yeah a lot of these Kevin other Costner, yeah Kevin right. Costner, yeah. um, um, what Carrie Ellis, Crow. Oh, what's his what's his name? Yeah, Russell Crowe and the other one, and Carrie Car- 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 Ellis, Car- Ellis. Yeah. yeah, and you know this is the one I think of. Yeah, yeah, it, and and the the voices. The voiceover work, it's yes. just very mm-hmm. effortless. It yeah. doesn't seem like anybody's trying. It's like, a sh- it's just... like Shakespeare. Like, it just yeah. it's flowed through with, like, yeah. different wordings, and mm-hmm. it just kind of just, it was so good. Yeah. yeah. So, definitely my favorite. I can, I can put it on and watch it now. It doesn't, oh, no. It doesn't, when they, when you know, I heard that was going on, on Blu-ray, I was so excited. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, yeah. that's one of my top ten childhood movies. Like, I love, yeah. I, lo- I watch that so many times. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that just goes with Disney how wonderful they've been <coughs> yeah. over the years. Like they're so smart. Like they're ta- I mean, they they were our childhoods, so yeah. and, and to our adults. So. Yeah. And be passed down to younger Kitlins out there. Kitlins. Kitlins. Uh, okay, so uh, what stands out the most for this movie? Uh, uh, to you, and I mean, not like you know. I th- I think it's just that. Like, when yeah. you watch it now, what is something that you, you still just... It the music, out, definitely. Like... I sing along with the song. Yeah. <laughs> and I love just the whole hijinks and everything that happens at the test to see who's the best at shooting yeah. a bow and arrow. And Robin showing up in, in costume. Yeah. And little John dressed up in, like, drag and... Call yeah, because yeah, he's, That's like, fixing good. himself. Yeah. Oh, like, no. he has, Prince like, John, yeah. PJ, yeah. he, just, yeah. he PJ, doesn't even yeah. care. And that's so, you know, being from the South, that's so how Southern people are. They yeah. just don't even care what your stance is in life. Yeah, they just, just there, talk yeah. to you like your best friends. And mm-hmm. he just wasn't even intimidated. Yeah. Sat on the snake, yeah. called him yeah. PJ. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Stuff in his bra with gold. He just yeah. doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> I will say in that movie, there's one scene that just breaks my heart. And it's when the... The tax guy takes that little gold coin from oh, the little bunny, little bunny. Oh. and it's just yeah. awful. his face just melts. It's mm-hmm. so sad. He's just broken hard. That was his it's birthday so, coin. I know. Yeah. It's, it's awful. just so sad. You wait for the payoff in that movie. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah, that's one of the movies you <laughs> definitely wait for everyone to get what's coming to them. Yeah. But um, all right, so good choice. Everyone yeah. can agree that I think honestly all of these movies and we'll, I mean we'll oh, yeah. Michaels, but we know what his is. But like all of these movies are ones that are just like. Yeah. We all enjoy. We it all was very it. hard to pick a favorite because yeah. there's so yeah, there's many. Too many of them. Yeah, and you will see Goofy movie by the way, uh. <laughs> and then you'll be like, I can see why he enjoys it. Okay, I, I, um, I understand. Michael, here we go. Let's end uh, on a high note. You have yeah, one minute. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I picked Pinocchio as my favorite animated movie. Um, it was the second Disney movie. You know, it came out in 1940. Nice, nice. Um, 19, that's. God I know. Dang, I can't believe I know, that. Because mom wasn't even born yet. They, they no. showed it. <laughs> mom wasn't wow. even born About yet. About 16 years yeah. from yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. that's and just, crazy to me. And just like with uh, like with Robin Hood, you know, it dealt with a lot of you know adult adult themes. Like, um, um, I love the fact that all he ever wanted, you know, uh, his wish was to be a real boy, and that's something that everybody, of course, everyone takes for granted. Yeah. So that basically, and I kind of to be of, re- to be real to be real, yeah. yeah. And you know, like you know, this is kind of heavy or anything, but um, you know, being diabetic, I've always wanted to know what it's like to be healthy, and a lot yeah. of people take that for granted. So I kind of relate to that. Um, but um, um, in the scene where um, the fairy comes in, if you look on the bookshelf, there's um, there's books on there for Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland. And that's a full eleven and thirteen years before they before they were made into a movie. So I thought that was cool. They they planned that far and ahead. So um, apparently <laughs> the little kid outside does not like yeah. my pick. We hear if you hear us laughing real quick off topic. There's someone outside out my out my apartment just like crying. It's crying. They yeah. hate Pinocchio. They, they hate Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Yeah. yeah. That was actually me. I just yeah. really... <laughs> yeah, I don't want y'all to think, like... She hates Michael, puppets. Michael's sounding great, but there's a ghost in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's because you hear chuckling, and we just want to explain what the chuckling is. Right, okay. Yeah, right. Like, why Michael's talking so, like... Like... Heart so, Yeah. Heart and then he goes, I'm diabetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so, yeah. His diabetes wife is laugh. laughing at him for being yeah. diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll get back on. Okay, the child is yeah. gone. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Um, it's also the first animated movie to win an Oscar. Oh, wow. So it won two. It won Best Song for When You Wish Upon a Star. Win. And then just Best Score. So, yeah. And that, yeah, that's a, that's that, a that great, song is, I mean, that's another yeah, one. That just shows you all, all of these. Everyone like, knows that Goofy song. Movie's the only one that didn't have, like, a standout song. But, like, yeah. all of these, man, these are just, just yeah. so good when it comes to their soundtrack. Yeah, they're, they're great. Yeah, and then just the, you know, the subject matter that it deals with. Like, I remember watching, you know, when I was a kid, I was so disturbed. When the boys were turning into donkeys, oh yeah, that's that, that, terrifying. Yeah, that really bothered me. This tells you how different I am. I was tickled that they got to cuss. That's true. Yeah, it's ass. Because he says, "What do I look like? A jackass?" jackass and then he turns laughs in. like a donkey. <laughs> and he turns oh. into one. And it yeah. is disturbing. It's it terrifying. is terrifying because they grab him. Yeah, because he doesn't know what's going on. And, yeah. then, and then the guy grabs him and puts him in the crate. And yeah, yeah. it's just it, it God. is very disturbing. And I will say, yeah. Pinocchio was one of those I watched as a kid, and. Jiminy Cricket, just that let your conscience be your guide. Yeah. Like, I mean, still to this day, it's like, yeah, it's very is, true. This, is this right? Is this wrong? How mm-hmm. would I feel after doing yeah. it? Who would yeah. affect while I'm doing it? And so I'm not going to do it. So, yeah. yeah. It's just another Teach one. Teaches kids. Teaches yeah. kids. Yeah. yeah. Just that Pinocchio was more real boy than some of the actors. Yeah, exactly. Boys, right. Exactly. Because, like he said, uh, the yeah. ones that were real were taking it for granted. Mm-hmm. And this is this toy who wants so bad yeah. to, be a, to be real. To be real. So he really was paying and attention. And he was, yeah. 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 Yeah, kind of like AI or those are the movies yeah, where they're yeah. not they're not real, but they they want to be real bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the only other thing I wanted to bring up was uh, Mel Blanc. He recorded some dialogue for it, He's, and uh, they were going to use it, but Disney cut it. Um, I think they, they turned this character like a mute, so that was like the only time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was like, the we only time. Some things, but yeah, the only time he ever recorded something that wasn't Warner Brothers and it got cut. So I, I, that's I so was, bad. I wish because they they, they had yeah. that. Yeah, because uh, was. Uh, when did, was Looney Tunes after that? Um, it was kind of during. Yeah, it, the Looney Tunes right were like. Because I'm trying to think like, like, the, like 30s, Maybe they didn't think he would, he was just it wouldn't go anywhere. Like they didn't appreciate who he was because it just yeah. yeah. around a lot. I mean, like he was the voice. He was everybody. 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 He was Daffy Duck. Tunes. Yeah. He was Sylvester. He was yeah. Tweety. He was Porky. I mean, he was everybody. Yeah. He yeah. was the man of a thousand voices because mm-hmm. he just, he was these guys. Yeah. Like a fun yeah. fact on him, we were watching this uh, thing on Netflix where he was he, he was in the hospital or was this, in a coma or something like that, and when he when he came out of it, he was talking like Porky Pig. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah. Because like that's just in his yeah. head, like that's just who he was. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. that's just insane to me. Yeah. Yeah. And, like genius. They could they could have yeah. had somebody iconic. I mean, it's already an iconic movie, but they yeah. could have had just a voice actor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. No, it's okay. just it was a. You want to tell him your. Uh, your disturbing fact. Oh, disturbing fact. Yeah. Um, apparently the guy who played Geppetto, uh, his name was Christian, he was a, uh, he's very pro-Nazi. So he was, he was always... <laughs> Which who isn't? Right. <laughs> he was always pissing off the animators with all his talking about the glory of Adolf Hitler. So to get back at him, when they were filming the scene where Geppetto was inside Monstro, the whale, they had to kind of simulate it being, you know, real... Um, Real violent on the water, so they filmed him in a boat. So the animators got to really rock the boat as much as they could because he's an old guy, you know. So they're rocking the boat, making him sick. So that was kind of their revenge. <laughs> like you're talking about this, Hitler, we'll drown. You. Yeah, on this, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. This Nazi guy. So, all right. So, uh, <clears throat> what stands out the most for you for this movie? Um, just the fact that they dealt with things that were, you know, most movies wouldn't touch. You know, just all the, um, the parts where they were turning into donkeys and. You know, getting swallowed by a whale, and it's pretty heavy stuff for for an animated movie. Yeah, and now it's like kids are like, "What else you got?" Like, yeah. it's not that bad. Yeah, but so it just it's way ahead of its it time. It is just yeah. yeah. Just some of the things we talked about. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, well, all right, good choice. Um, any, anything anyone want to say about that round before we get to our closing uh, nights? <laughs> right, now we run three hours and seventy-two <laughs> yeah. minutes. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. This was our definitely our longest uh, podcast. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> longest <laughs> podcast, but uh, that is going to be it. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, hopefully, there's people out there that will listen to the full hour and change of this. <laughs> uh, but it's just because you know this one was fun to talk about. I think we yeah. we're all more passionate. About some of these, then on a roll. Yeah, we it's did. Worth listening to. It's That's worth listening right. to. Yes. This one will be worth listening to. So do spread the word if you do listen to this. Uh, but thank you guys <laughs> for listening. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Spread the podcast, and of course subscribe because I'm at 260. So when we get to 300, we will get to the next contest. So thank you guys, and um, anyone will say bye. 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 All right, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.